Good morning guys <clears throat> and welcome back to another episode now today we are rocking the Cricket Australia new socks so I'm, I'm the only one in the team that's got them so far and also one of the staff members but rocking them today giving them a go and just trying them out but about to drop off my washing. Back in the room now from breakfast. I took my jumper off because it was getting hot down there. About to brush my teeth, get my stuff ready for training and then head downstairs to the meeting room. Alrighty, I've got everything ready for <coughs> training. Let's head downstairs and head to the team meeting. Oh yeah. Guys, we are back at the hotel now. The time is currently 10 past three. I am absolutely buggered. I just feel like for the rest of the day, I'm gonna spend in my room. I'm gonna go get more washing and then just lay down and watch some Netflix or even some YouTube because I am absolutely buggered and wrecked as you can tell by my, the state of me, I'm just buggered. <laughs> oh God, um, Gracie has left to join the Aussie team um, and we have Georgia Wareham joining us today and Tess Flintoff joining us. Um, so those two players will play with us tomorrow in the ODI against England A. Um, saw a couple of the girls, the England A girls at training today and Georgia Adams is here, you've got Kirsty Gordon here, you've got um, Baker as well, you've got Scrivens um, and some other girls as well. So. Um, it, it looks like it's going to be a whole new lineup for um, England A, which is going to be awesome. Um, new challenge, um, so that's going to be good. Um, but yeah, I'm literally about to go get my washing, go have a shower, and then just chill out for the rest of the day. Because yeah, once again, I am buggered. <laughs> so I got my washing and I'm heading back up to my room. <laughs> Just picked up my dinner from downstairs. I am super tired. I just can't be bothered getting dressed up and going out. I just need food. I need food and movies and chill. <laughs> Especially because we've got an ODI tomorrow. Alrighty, so got all my stuff ready for tomorrow there. Um, got all my stuff ready for the morning there and here. Um, just want to say a massive thank you to Shah, our team manager, for these socks. These are awesome. They're very comfy. I'm not really sure when ASICS will release them or if they're going to. I don't really know. Sorry, guys. I don't really know any information about them. I literally just saw her wearing a pair and I was like, oh, do you have a spare one? Got given a spare one. So you'll have to wait and see if they actually release them as an actual product or something like that. But um, yeah, as, as of now, I've only just got one pair, so... Bear with me. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the ODIs tomorrow. Um, dinner was really nice. I had a uh, spaghetti bolognese with some garlic bread and some little um, like puff balls, chocolate puff balls, which were really nice. Um, so yeah, now it's time to head into bed and oh, get up early for tomorrow morning. We are leaving the hotel around 8.45. So I will plan to get up around 7.45, I reckon, maybe like an hour beforehand, go off and get a coffee and then come back and get my fingers strapped, uh, ready for the game. And yeah, I guess 
that's about it for today. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys and welcome to game day. We just headed down to breakfast and had some breakfast and a coffee. Um, I'm heading back upstairs to get my bag and then head downstairs, hop on the bus and head to the ground. I tell you what, I am so tired this morning. So obviously today is an ODI game and today is gonna feel so long in the on the ground. Um, oh, it's, Tours like these going from a three day game to T20s to ODIs, it just takes it out of you, doesn't it? Oh. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've got everything for game day. I've got my playing clothes, I've got my training clothes, I've got my media stuff, I've got my I've got my banana and my Red Bull ready to go just in case I've got my GoPro. Um, yeah, let's head downstairs and have a good day. So we lost the toss and we are batting first. Shout out to Shah for getting her coffee. Love her. Oh, so good. Blue still, blue still. Not sure if we're allowed to have things, but I'll take it. Back at the hotel now from the ground, um, a really good start for us uh, in the ODI series. We're one up on England A, so a really good performance today from the girls. Um, we also had Wolf, uh, Georgia Wareham, join us for today's game. Um, she made 60 odd with the bat and got four for. Myself got four for. Um, I think Cheats, uh, Lauren Cheetah got one, and I think. Someone else got one, I think it was oh, Tay. Tay bowled an absolute beauty first up um, to Scrivens. That was amazing, um, really good. Really awesome to see Tay back in action once again as well. Um, so yeah, back at the hotel now, just chilling out. About to go have a shower, get changed, and then head out for dinner. Um, but as you can see, we've got Tobias in the background just sitting there. <laughs> Always have to mention Tobias, he is awesome. I absolutely love him. Um, so happy that me and Nell got matching uh, build bears as well. So <laughs> I just find it hilarious and cute. Um, but no, I'm about to go have a shower, so I'll speak to you guys soon. Oh, and also tomorrow we have a rest day, so I am on the hunt for a ticket to Lords to the test match. So that's what what I'm planning to do all this afternoon is try and find a ticket. So fingers crossed, so I can find a ticket, and we'll hopefully gonna head to London tomorrow and head to Lords. <laughs> Fingers across. Again, I am heading to Wagamama's just because it is so easy and convenient. It, it is literally across the road, so that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, this is the fit for tonight. Thanks. <laughs> it is cold outside as well. Typical England. Once again, we are at Wagamama's. Guys, we have we have a ticket for tomorrow. We we're going to Lords. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just booked my train tickets to Lords. Two hundred fifty dollars later. Oh Jesus Christ! But no, um, eight forty leave in the morning. We are heading to Lords. I cannot wait. I'm gonna have to pick out an outfit. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. In the morning, it's supposed to be raining in London, um, but then in the afternoon, it gets to the top of twenty four. So I'm kind of iffy about what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> Um, I might wear shorts, I might wear jeans, I don't know. I... <sighs> one thing, once once again, spontaneous troops are the best. So I cannot wait to head to Lords to watch, watch the Ashes. And I cannot wait to see Nathan Lyon bowl and hopefully get his 500 test wickets or wickets or whatever. I, oh, as you know, I'm super excited. I cannot wait. I'm so keen. And also, one of my friends is doing media in the um, media center and he's invited me up there to see the viewing area from up there and I cannot wait. I haven't been in the media center yet, which is going to be awesome. Uh, I, uh, as you can tell, I'm just so excited. <laughs> I think I definitely am going to go for the safe option and wear shorts, um, maybe with the singlet and then probably take a jumper just in case um, because I know most of the time my legs are fine. It's just my upper body that gets cold, so I'll take a jumper. 
um but now it's just deciding what top i'm gonna wear i think i'm gonna wear my chicago bulls tank top um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i think i'll make my mind up in the morning but in the morning we've got some um some physio screenings just to do first up just to make sure um our body's all good and i'm pretty sure i'm fine i've opted out of my massage for tomorrow night because i won't be back in time um <sighs> I'm just rambling on because I'm so excited. I can't wait to go to Lords. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been there since, what, last year in the 100, so oh, I cannot wait. Honestly, guys, I, as you can tell, I am so excited. I cannot wait. Guys, I've just hopped into bed. It is quarter past 10. I've set my alarm for 7.30 in the morning. My first thing is at eight. And then after that, I'll walk to the train station to catch the train into um, London. And then I'll walk. I'll either walk or I'll Uber to um, Lords itself. So, as you tell, I am super tired. I've hit a wall. Uh, and I'm going to go to bed. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, this episode is going to consist of three days because... The footage that I've got from day one and two is just not enough, so enjoy this super long one. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We just finished uh, breakfast, heading back into my room to get my stuff. This is the fifth for today. I've got shorts on. I'm going to take a jumper, but super excited to head to Lords. I cannot wait. Once again, in the lift, about to head to the train station. I've got my Red Bull ready for today. I cannot wait. The time is 8.16, our train leaves at 8.40. Should get there on time, hopefully. <laughs> there she is, the train station. have something to eat and then we'll head to Lord. There are many people on the train. And we have hired yes.
Tell you what, it's bloody carnage here. So many people. Unbelievable. <coughs> Now guys, that that has to be one of my best rest days off on a cricket trip. Going to Lords, watching an Ashes game, um, seeing so many wickets getting taken during a game, but then also getting access to the media centre, doing comms on the game, like I didn't even think I'd be commentating on a game, like never would have thought I would be doing it, let alone to commentate at Lords, like ridiculous so i'm very very proud of myself for doing that thank you Adam, adam collins for inviting me out there and having me in the box it, it was bloody awesome i absolutely loved it so basically what i'm doing now is walking to the train station to catch train back to leicester um it's about a half an hour walk which i don't mind i'll get dinner at the train station which is quite good and then i'll eat on the train on the way home uh, and then it's an hour train ride home which is which is okay, I get to rest for a little bit, which is nice. Um, but yeah, today has been a really fun day. This is quite cute. And we are back in the train station. Oh, it's so nice to sit down. So we've got um, my stuff from the wards. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Got my stuff from Lords. I've got some little donuts here. Oh, he's gave me three. I got two, but he's given me three. Um, a drink and a ham cheese roll. And just waiting for the train, really. Today, it's been a really good day. I think um, I'm really glad I went to Lords. I'm really glad I searched for the ticket as well. Um, not every day you get to go to Lords and watch the Ashes. Um, it's pretty. pretty God damn exciting and um, what a day of cricket as well. Ridiculous play. Um, but yeah, time to eat now because I am starving. Oh my god. <sighs> we are finally back at the hotel. I cannot wait for a shower. Oh. Got my washing as well and got some goodies. I'm so tired. Back in my room now. I've just put my stuff on the bed. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Lords. Um, well, at the moment, I've got my Pepsi Max in my beer cup. So I kept one of the Lords cups uh, from the um, picnic area. So I kept that. <laughs> I stole some some bananas from downstairs. <laughs> uh, I got some treats for later. <laughs> but from the actual store, I managed to get, what did I get? I got a stubby holder. So that's pretty cool. I think this was like five pounds or something like that. Yeah, five pounds. Um, I got a magnet, of course. I am a magnet collector. That, and I got a keychain. This was, this is pretty cute. Cute. Um, so yeah, that's my little collection from Lords. I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, last time, last time I was at Lords, I managed to get a um, a tea set uh, from the MCC uh, members end when we played there at the hundred. I basically asked the staff members, "Do you have anything that I could possibly take home?" And they gave me a teacup, um, a teacup, a teapot, um, some plates a gravy um you know thingy and some spoons and some cutlery so that was pretty pretty cool um i think me and paige schofield 
um, divided each um, each uh, divided the whole thing between each other that's what I was trying to say but really enjoyed my day at Lords today um, managed to yeah end up getting a ticket getting a train there um, heading to Lords I walked from the train station train station to Lords um, it was good it was a solid 40 minute walk which is not too bad I think all up today I ended up doing like 22,000 steps which is not too bad um, get the steps up you know <laughs> nah <laughs> long day but um, yeah once I got to Lords I sat in my seat for a little bit and then I ended up messaging uh, one of my friends um, Adam um, Adam Collins um, who is doing um, some media or well, he, he basically runs the show at SEN um, and then all of a sudden I'm up in the media box and then or well, the media center and then I'm on I'm, I'm commentary I'm doing commentary on the test I'm I'm doing commentary on the ashes like what is this this is bizarre <laughs> and then all of a sudden the Melbourne Cup gets brought into the little box I'm like what is going on but the media center is ridiculous um, I couldn't show you any footage because you weren't weren't actually allowed to I accidentally posted some stuff on Instagram I left it there anyway but if I get told off it's all good uh, um, you could only take photos, not videos, so I'll end up just putting, if I haven't already, or if you haven't seen already, I'll, I'll put photos instead of videos. Um, and also, I got given this wristband here, which is pretty cool. Um, it's basically a wristband to show the attendants where you sit, um, so you don't have to keep showing them the tickets, which is a really cool idea. Um, so that's a little novelty I'll keep as well. But yeah, really cool day. Um, the time is 10.05, so perfect timing coming back to the hotel. I'm going to have a shower. Um, I'm going to relax oh, and I'm going to go through my washing and get my stuff ready for game day tomorrow because it is the second ODI against England A tomorrow. So 8.45 leave in the morning. Um, I think I'm going to have a little bit of a sleep in and not go to breakfast because I've already got breakfast here for, with me. Um, I probably just need to buy a Red Bull or a coffee in the morning. That's about it. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna have a shower and brush my teeth and I'll talk to you guys soon. Alrighty guys, just brush my teeth. I'm ready for bed. I'm gonna pretty much go to bed. I'm so tired now. I've hit a wall and I need some sleep before tomorrow's game. So thank you for literally watching this video. I know it's gonna be long and I do apologize, but it's definitely worth it. I think so. Um, so yeah, I really want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video slash episode. Um, I yeah can't get over the fact that I've literally commentated an Ashes game. Like that just blows my mind. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself. Like I'm really proud of the things that I'm doing lately. I'm really going out and out and um, and above what I've been doing lately. So. Yeah, I'm actually really proud of myself. Like, I could never see the Wello two years ago or even last year doing that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I'm actually really happy and really glad I did that. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed because I definitely know I did. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you can, please leave a like. Um, even hit the subscribe button. If you do like my content, please. <laughs> Leave a comment here and there. I do comment back every now and then when I can. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.